Hi, this video is to help you on uh, AutoCAD Architecture Group. I've prepared you a little tutorial with a uh, chessboard and um, I hope it will help you. So, first, I've made this chessboard. Uh, we are on a, a view plan. You can see I'm French. <laughs> so, this is a top view. So first of all, I'll show you how to use the scroll button. So first, if I use on plan view uh, the scroll button, if I just press it and I go left or right, it use add a pan. If I use it to go up or down, it move my draw up or down. No, if I hit uh, shift button and uh, if I hold shift button, and if I press the scroll button, if I go front, it goes like front flip. If I go back, it goes like back flip. Front, back. If I go on the left with holding shift button, I can rotate left. And if I go to right with holding shift button, I can rotate right. Okay. I've drawn those lines, red and green, to help you to see the vanishing points. Okay, so if I move this ray, over there we have the central vanishing point. Left with red, uh, green line will have the left vanishing point, and uh, in red to the right, for the x axis, we'll have the right vanishing point. Okay. If I do on the view cube, I do a right click, I can use perspective. Okay. So we've seen first button without any uh, keyboard button. Okay. If I go up, it move like this, down like this, left like this, right like this. Okay. Now if I hit Shift button, I hold it. If I use scroll button and then go with the mouse on the front, it will rotate in all the view this way. Okay. So it's going to do the same thing. I mean, uh, front flip or back flip. Okay. Like if I had a pivot point on the middle of uh, the chase. Okay. And it's going to do the same thing. If I go with the shift button to the left, it rotates on the left, on the right, back flip, front flip. Okay. Now, if I just use scroll button, if I move, so I don't uh, use uh, any keyboard button. Okay. If I go to the left, or if I go to the right, or if I go to the top, or if I go to the Bottom, we can see that all those vanishing points never move. Okay, they are still exactly on the same point. They never move. Okay. But now, if I use the control key, if I go to the bottom, it move to the bottom. If I go to the top goes to the top, okay, and uh, all my vanishing points move at the same sometimes, same time, okay. Um, okay, uh, so this is shift button, this is no button, and this is control button, okay. Um, now, uh, we can see that we have this vanishing point here and this vanishing point here. I think that if you use your own computer, those points are going to be more far. Okay. It's because we have to uh, adjust the, um, the focal. Okay. To do it, first we have to open property by control and one button. And we have to open the orbit 3G. Like this. 
this one. At this moment, we have here the focal. Okay, the normal values is 40. If I hit 40, I see that the vanishing points are very far the one from the other. Okay, so uh, for this example, I have to take a bigger value because uh, I want the two vanishing points on my screen. I have a quite little screen because uh, it is a, a portable uh, computer, a mobile computer, I don't know how <laughs> we can say. Okay, uh, so uh, if I want to adjust my uh, focal, I have to do Orbit 3D, so Orbit 3D, right here, okay. And I have to open properties. Okay, excuse me. First open properties and after orbits. So here I put 93, so I'm sure it fits on my screen. Okay, and now I'm going to put back image on my file. To do that, first I escape. I'm going to open the view commands. Okay, this one it's this time it's okay. So to make it fit I use shift or control or just my um scroll button. Then I can go to property uh then orbit up and I put here yeah, ninety-three I hope it will fit. Uh, mm -mm. I use so exit to take off my uh, orbit cursor, then control. I can put here my orbits. I see here it has to be a uh, little left. Okay, when they are too close, the one to the other, you have to go to a lower value, and if it's too far, you have to take a higher value. So now I have to take a lower value. So I go again to control one, control one, and after orbit. Okay. So yeah, I try uh, 90. Mm -mm -mm. Let's do it. Escape. Control. Okay. Here it's quite good, but it, it's gonna be okay. You don't have to take something very perfect, you know. Here now we we are not on a real AutoCAD. It's very to to take uh, to to make a to make a, an image, you know, a picture. It's not to make a plan. It's it's quite good, you know. Here, here, and here, it's it's enough to make a good picture. And I'm going to take my nights. On the top of my knight is exactly the same thing. I've made a red line, a second one here, and a green line here, and another one. So I can see that my vanishing point here is okay, and this one is okay too. So now, if I use control, I can go there, you know, or I can put here my vanishing point. Or I can do uh, like this with control and shifts. Okay. And with the uh, only uh, scroll button, I can move and you can see that here and here, it fits good. Okay, so now I can put it on the good case, and I can 
use the zoom command this way. So I take zoom like this, enter. So now I can go like this or like this, and I can use the scroll button too. So I can do this, 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 up, mm -mm -mm. a little more perhaps, like this. And it seems to be okay. Uh, uh, I'm sorry, it's because of the recording, it's uh, harder to do it, so I can use the zoom command this way. A little more. Okay. And with the help of this line, I can make exactly what I want. Okay. So now I can simply go there up and my knight is exactly where it has to be so uh, if i go here i can make it rotate if i want okay so i hope the, i i hope this tutorial is going to help you well and uh, if you have uh, any question uh, you're welcome